Yo, it's me, it's me, CSEO GT, baby. And it's time to continue the full moonathon with Doll Man vs. Demonic Toys. I actually have this one, but I never watched it till now. Um, yep. So, this movie continues the story of three different films Doll Man, Demonic Toys, and Bad Channels. Although there is one big change from Bad Channels, and that's that while the character of Bunny was the one left shrunk at the end of Bad Channels, they switched it to Ginger. And the way they retcon this is terrible. Because throughout the film, they show flashbacks to the previous films, what happened. And they show a flashback, she explains her backstory and what happened. And the guy originally said, what about Bunny? But they over they dub over his voice and put Ginger, but you can clearly tell he's still saying Bunny. They because when they show the girls coming out before, they like call out the girls' names. Here they just have them come out and they cut out the calling the girls' names. And at the end, the guy says, "Where's Ginger?" Even though you can tell he's actually saying Bunny. It's the worst way to retcon something. Obviously, the actress who played Bunny couldn't come back. You should have just. Had a different actress, but no, you just bring in a different character. This makes no sense. And Dawn Man explains that he left Maria at the end of his movie to move on, and now he's connected up with Ginger because they're both the same size. And yeah, that's where it starts with Dawn Man uh, saying he's gonna he he, go, he gets to Pahuda, which is where the where Bad Channels take took place, and then he says he's gonna hook up with the small girl. And I was like, oh, so he's hooking up with Bunny. And then she, like, when she goes through the, uh, they're going to the think, because I didn't pay attention to who the girls are, you know, which ones they were. And then when they said, where's Ginger? I'm like, Ginger? Well, she mentioned, uh, they took Bunny. I'm like, wait, you're Bunny. And no, she wasn't. Supposed to be, but they retconned it. And, well, Remember I mentioned my Demonic Toys review, however short it was, that I thought it was just so convenient how everything just came together. How that, that, that body was thrown there. Never. They don't retcon this. They're still saying this one, that the, the kids were given the, the demonic body on, on Halloween and they just threw it in a construction site. And even though it was in plain sight, they just built over it. And how I said that they just, um, uh, you know, happened to have a police chase and someone bleeds on, on the thing and releases the master. Well, this time, one, the master is never specifically shown. Two, it's way more convenient. It's way more of an accident type thing because you know how they get the blood this time? Some drunk ass hobo riding a tricycle, falling down and splitting his head open, and then bleeding. That's. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. That's how. Isn't that the most fucking ridiculous thing? If you, it's more practical that someone got shot and bled into the crack. But drunk dude, drunk old homeless dudes on the. Tricycle. That's what happens. And it resurrects the toys, but this time the teddy bear is not there. It's a G.I. Joe type soldier. Only thing I can think of is they did that so that Bardo, the doll man, would have someone to fight, you know, hand to hand. Which I guess works, but I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of flashing back. Two of the previous films. They do that. There's three flashbacks. One for each film. And this, this movie's only an hour. And for much of this supposed to be a sequel to Dollman, to Demonic Toys, Judith Gray, the main character from that film, shows up. She's, uh, there's, everything is not really explained either. There's this reporter who somehow knows the bunny is shrunk. Or not bunny. Supposed to be. Ginger is shrunk. And then all of a sudden, Judith, who keeps staking out that warehouse after, you know, uh, is off the force right now. She's suspended because of this. And 
she happens to know about Bardo and Ginger and wants to know their location. And all the reporter guy says is Pahuda. And she somehow just finds them. Like they're doing their little people sex. <laughs> whatever. And then she walks in. And I'm like, how the hell did she find them? All, all the reporter said was a small town called Pahuda. That's it. He never gave an address or anything. She's there. And then we get the explanations for certain other characters not in this film. They mention uh, the delivery guy from the first film. I forgot his name. Jack, Nick, whatever. And uh, apparently he was traumatized by this and doesn't, won't say anything. Writes his character out. And where's her child? With her mother. And then she dies. Yep. They have Phil find a Carl playing the new security guard. Which, why do you have a small little security guard? I love Phil Fonda Carl. He's one of my favorite little actors out there, but why? You had the fat, slubby guy in the first movie. Clearly, he was dead, but still. And they had this little guy, and he ends up dead. She ends up dead. And then Bardo takes out the dolls, and that's it. He and Ginger get a taxi back to Pahuda, and that's the end. One thing I do gotta mention is the voice of Baby Whoops and Daisy in this movie. Oh my god. They got Frank Welker, as great as he is as a voice artist. Baby Whoopsie Dudsy sounds like the Easter Bunny from Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. That's what it is. I could see the baby going, You took, you took Duncan D. The Basket, nah, 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 from that movie, because it's so, you know. <clears throat> and they retcon things. So, because they couldn't get, like, a little boy to play the master in this one, they instead say that the, the master will take over Baby Whoopsie Daisy's body at midnight, and he'll impregnate Ginger, the tiny woman. And I guess that having the master take over him gives him a cock and balls, because then she kicks him in the balls. He's like, you know, I be, you know, like, he gets what he needs to do the the ceremony to have sex with her. She, she's like, what, what he needs? And she kicks him in the balls. Because now the doll has balls, apparently. And, yeah, then Bardo does it. I like how he does it. He has that, that thing on his hand. He grabs the gun, shoots Big Boots Daisy, dead. Jack-Jack is a little annoying in this one, but he's still, or Jack Attack. But he, he's still, like, one of my favorites in this. Big Boots Daisy was in the first one, but now the voice is just, yeah. And then you have the robot and the little thing to take care of them. I just, it's only an hour long. It's di produced and directed by Charles Band, so you know he's putting something into it. But there's continuity problems, especially with, like, I'll, I don't know, maybe the only movie that keeps the continuity, because there's not much to go by, is Dollman. Other than that, because everything he said fits in with the movie, his movie. But then they retconned the ending of Bad Channels and made it Ginger instead of Bunny. They, uh, <clears throat> they messed with certain story, retconned the thing with the master in Demonic Toys. And change certain things because we couldn't get certain actors to come back. And they explained away her child with just being in her mother's. And now that child's going to grow up without any parents because they're both dead. But. I mean, it was a little bit enjoyable. When he. When he. When. Jack, when. Uh, when. When the doll man shot Jack. Jack attack. I'm like, yeah! Because it, like, it was like. He was laughing. He was annoying. Hey, 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 hey. head exploded. Gringo, yes. Um, but you'd think there would be some kind of continuity between them. And they just... I guess they only had an hour run time and they had to do it quick. They couldn't have them. Because in the first Demonic Toys, when the blood was spilled, that released the little boy master. And then 
the, the toys came alive and he showed up. But now there's not even, like, they, they, they even write kind of rules. Like, wait till midnight for the master to appear inside Baby Whoopsie Daisy. It's like, he's like, I'm changing. Nothing happens to him. Like, I'm changing. And nothing happens to him at all. Nothing. Other than supposedly he gets a cock and balls. It's not one of the better ones, but it's still, if, if you like schlock, you'll enjoy it. If you like Doll Man, specifically, I think you'll enjoy it. Because uh, it keeps Doll Man's story intact, for the most part. Um, I really enjoyed Bad Channels, and it's a shame that they had to change who it was, because it would have been a great continuation. But still as it is, I think it would work. But... Watching bad channels, then going directly into this one, and you really notice it, you know. And demonic toys, as good as that movie was, it they don't do them justice here. Um, at least they're better looking into ones in Puppet Master versus demonic toys. And I don't know if I ever do that one because it's not really a full moon feature. It was a sci-fi channel special, but yeah, this was decent. Good old schlock, you know. But uh, so what are your thoughts on Dollman versus demonic toys? Let me know in the comments below, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm Scotty, but I messed up. Bye.